Jeff Plate left Horseheads New York with dreams of making it big as a drummer. It didn't work out the way he had hoped, so he returned home thinking of trying his hand at something else. Then the phone rang. He was asked to join a band that would eventually give birth to Trans-Siberian Orchestra. Plate has toured the world with TSO and cannot wait to play in Rochester this Thursday over at the Blue Cross Arena. Well, today he joined me to talk about his success. So here we are, another holiday season. Are you ready for it? Does this ever get old to you in any way just because you've been doing it for so many years? Not at all. I mean, I, I am part of one of the most successful touring acts in the country. And I also take a lot of pride in the fact that I've been here from the very beginning. I, I was with Paul O'Neill back in uh, 1995 when we first recorded Christmas Eve Serial One. Talk to me about that transition, Christmas Eve, Sarajevo, Sabotage, successful band, but what happened? That one song gained some popularity, and then it created this movement. How did that happen? Well, oddly enough, Paul O'Neill had been dreaming of creating a Trans-Siberian Orchestra-like project for years prior to this. And when Christmas Eve, Sarajevo was first released on the Sabotage record called Dead Winter Dead, the song just took, a took on a life of its own. All of a sudden, it became this, this holiday hit. It became a contemporary hit. And it, it really took off in its own direction. But this was the vehicle for Paul to create TSO. When did you kind of know you were there? I would say probably in like 2004, 2005. We had began touring in theaters in 1999, slowly graduated to small arenas. And then all of a sudden about 04, 05, we were playing major arenas twice a day and selling them out twice a day. And I, I remember walking on stage, I believe it was in Cleveland. I, I just shook my head. It's like, I can't believe what's happening. This is unbelievable. And it has not slowed down since. So it's been an amazing ride. What inspired you to come back here when you could easily be in New York City or LA? You know, when I graduated high school, I knew in order to do what I wanted to do, I had to go somewhere else. And I went to Florida for a while. That didn't work out. I went to Boston for 10 years. And in Boston, I met the people who hooked me up with the band Sabotage, which led to where I am right now. But once I began touring and seeing the world and seeing the country, you know, there really is no prettier place than upstate New York. No truer words have been spoken. A couple of years ago, Plate worked with some folks from Horseheads to create his own album called Mother's Day. We have a link to that, and we're expecting more from that group. Also, in that same article over at rochesterfirst.com, you can find ticket info for this Thursday's TSO show. Again, over at the Blue Cross Arena.